In this video, we're going to take a look at the new transform manipulator for fill layers. All right, so to get started with this, uh, I'm just going to create a fill layer and I'm just going to disable all my channels here and we'll set uh, just a red color. And uh, here I'm going to call this logo. And then I'm going to create a black mask and I'm going to use a fill here for uh, the mask. And here in the grayscale button, I'll click this guy and you can see that I'm just filtering for logo. And I'm just going to use the Substance Painter logo. So the idea here is that uh, I have a logo that I want to place in a specific location. So now we're going to come up to our viewport. I'm going to switch this here into the 3D, 2D split. So we have our 3D and our 2D view. Now you'll notice in the summer 2018 release, we have this new transform manipulator uh, that we can use. So here in the viewport, if I start to just move this manipulator around, you can see that I can transform this logo here in my 2D view or better said, using the UV projection. I can also do things like scale as well as rotate. So what we're doing here is we're using this new manipulator to control the sliders that you had in previous versions. So this new manipulator will allow you to easily place items where you need them to be. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is come over here to tiling and I'm gonna set this to none. So now you'll notice that we're no longer getting this tiling here. And I wanna shrink down this logo. So what I can do is I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to come over to one of these control handles and then just left click and drag. Now holding down shift will constrain the scale of the manipulator. If I didn't have shift, you could see that I can do this non-uniform scale. So again, I'll just hit control Z a few times to go back and once more hold down shift, left click to just scale the manipulator down. Now I'll come over here and I'll just left click and drag and I'm going to place my logo right here on uh, this kind of face plate here for the meat mat character. Now let me zoom in here on my 2D view. And like I said before, we can also rotate. So if we just move our mouse outside of the manipulator, we get the rotation handle and I can simply rotate here. Now we also have a pivot and it might be hard to see. Let me just move my uh, manipulator over here into this dark area, or actually what I could do is just, let's just move our light here in the viewport. And you'll notice here that I have this little pivot point. Now if you select this or just mouse over this pivot, it will highlight and then you can place this wherever you like. So for example, I'm gonna place the pivot point right here. And now when I do my rotation, you can see that I can rotate around that pivot. So here at the top of the menu, you'll see that we have some new buttons here. And for example, let's say that I want to reset this pivot point. I can come over here to this button, which is just reset pivot. And that will, of course, reset the pivot. Now, like I said, we have some more buttons here. So the first one that we have enabled is this show hide manipulator. So if I turn this on and off, we can show and hide the manipulator. There's also a keyboard shortcut. It's the Q key. So if I just tap the Q key here, you can see that I can show and hide the manipulator as well. Now, this next menu is a little drop down and it lets you set the size for these control handles here. So for example, if I set this to large, we get large handles or here I can set this to small and we can have small control handles here. In my case, I'm just gonna set this here to medium for now. Then we also have uh, these two controls which allow you to flip horizontal or vertical here. Now, another thing that's pretty interesting about this, let's say that I do a translation here. So here I'm gonna do a rotate. Now, another thing that I can do is I rotate, if I hold down the shift key, I can actually snap this rotation using various increments. All right, so now that I've done that, if I come back over here to my flip vertical, you can see that I can now flip this based on the current translation. So these flip horizontal and flip vertical, as you can see, are local to the relative transform. So here, let me just undo my translation and we'll get this back to its original position like this. So the last button we have here will just uh, completely reset all the changes and just set everything back to default. Now here underneath the, the fill, we have the sliders for scale, rotation, and offset, and you can still manipulate these numerically if you prefer. However, with the new manipulator, you can do this more interactively directly here in the viewport. In this video, we are using the 2D view specifically because our projection here is set to UV projection. So that's gonna close out this video on the new transform manipulator that you can use when uh, you're working with a fill. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.